Hello everybody, welcome back to the, ser the Tomb Raider 1 series. We're going to keep it moving on, but first, a few things. Three things. Maybe four, I might be lying. Three. One. Thank you guys for all the support in that first video. I never expected that first video to take off like that. I know it might not seem a lot, seem like a lot to a lot of other people, other content creators, but it's a lot to me, and it means a lot to me. So thank you guys very much for that. Thing number two, I know you guys are wondering why I'm here again. We're gonna get to that. That's thing number three, and trust me, y'all gotta see this. But uh, two. I found the option, that ain't it, to take uh, the, the action indicator, that little exclamation point I was talking about in the first episode. Uh, it might not mean, you know, be a big th a di big deal or anything, but I found how to take that off. And also, see, they have things for, like, changing the controls from tank controls to modern controls. I have no idea what modern controls is. I've always used tank, because that's the way I'm used to playing the game. Because back when the, when the PlayStation 1 came out, it didn't have these. It didn't have analog sticks. So, I've always used the D-pad. By the way, who the hell named it D-pad? Anyway, thing number three, which is why I'm here right now. I found... I almost ran into that dart. I found out how to save. If you go down to load game... You flip the page, you can save it anytime you want. As you can see, I saved it like six times. <laughs> but that will also be the reason why there are no blue crystals floating around anymore, like in the original game. I did not know that. And as such, at the end of the last episode, the cutscene started playing for the next region. But I was like, no, I wanted to like stop it because I, I wanted to leave the cutscene in for you guys to see. Maybe some of you have already seen it, maybe you haven't, maybe you're interested in seeing it. So, I quit out of the game right then and there. Hoping, well, thinking to myself, that, oh, and maybe it has autosave, you know, something like that. No, it doesn't. I had to start from the begin. I had to start <laughs> from the beginning. Which, to be honest with you, I had no problem playing through those levels again. But the second level... The second level... I came up with the stupid idea. To say, eh, let's just try to... We already know what to do. Let's just try to breeze through it. You know, run through it. Just run past the enemies. <laughs> so we got bats chewing on me. Even more bats! Laura, you can't be getting tripped up right now. You cannot be getting tripped up right now. There's shit out here. Just run. Just run. Just run. More bats. We good. We good. Hit this. Laura, hit this. Laura, hit this. <laughs> Am I dead? I'm dead. No. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit! Oh, come on, Lord, Lord, Lord! Woo! Dude, everything is just going wrong. I know I'm gonna open this door and it's gonna be on, dude. All right, here we go. Here we go. Run, Lord, run! Ah. No! No! Yeah! Stop! Let me pull it. Let me pull it. Let me pull it. Put it there. Wrong button! Hold on! Hold on! Use that. Oh god, there he is right there! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're eating me. They're eating me. Oh my god. Laura, run. Laura, run. Laura, run. You know they're coming. You know they're coming. I don't know where they at. But you know they're coming. Screw you, bats. Screw you, bats. Oh god. Okay, wolves are fine. Ah! There he is! <laughs> Not again! No! Lead him away to somewhere else! Woo! Woo! Dude! I don't know what it's- Oh my god, I ran into the rest of them! Why Yogi and his boys gotta be so fast? Ah! Stop! Yeah! What? I'm stuck! Dude, look! 
A pack of wolves and bats teaming up to whoop my ass. Run for oh my god! Oh my god! Where'd the bear come from, dude? Oh my god, Laura, Laura, please. Laura, please. Laura, you gotta use that key. Use that key like you never used the key in your life. I'm about to die. Laura, Laura you take it too long. You take it too long. You take it too long. Standing up with two legs, Laura, so I stand like a human. Y'all some bullies. Look. Are you gonna sit on the steps? Oh, you got. You can't be serious. I'm gonna need y'all to move. I'm gonna need y'all to move. Look at him. Bear staring me dead in my eyes. Like you get out that water, that's your ass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wolves. You gonna lay right there? You. You just gonna sleep right there? I'm going for it. From. Who came to the wall? Yeah! Woo! Laura, run! I don't know where that bear is, but Laura, run! Woo! Alright, that was actually pretty good. That was actually pretty. That is not good! Ah! No! Dude! No! <laughs> Look at some bat all the way out there coming over here to. I was standing up like I see you up there. Come on down here, I'ma raid your picnic basket. That ain't even sound like. Y'all need to give this video a thumbs up. Like now. Oh my god, I'm going for it. Oh my god, I'm going for it. Oh my god, I'm going for it. Move! <laughs> Dude, I was getting mauled. I was getting mauled. Anyway. I went but the uh, we, we, we Laura Did somebody actually try to get on me about Saint calling her Laura? That's the way I pronounce it, damn it. You call her what you want. She's Laura to me. Anyways, um I actually went back to the T-Rex section and got that secret that was on the rooftop that I totally forgot about as I was playing that episode. So I went back and got that. I'm still missing a secret though. I can't remember what, what that one was. But now that I know about the save situation, we getting this. <laughs> Excuse me. Because if I'm not mistaken, this counts as two. This was a, the shotgun shell secret that we just got. And I think the magnum rounds is a whole separate secret. And after looking back at the, uh, my, when I was editing, I think I know where to drop. Think. If I die, I think it's right where I'm above. But in between these three spikes. Fingers crossed. Ah! It wasn't it. I wasn't it. Yeah. I actually didn't even break the thing. Uh oh. Guys. Oh dear God! We starting this episode off right. All right, all right. Break that. Break that. Lock it off it. <laughs> Let me look at the other side real quick. Let me look at the other side real quick. Is it here? Oh my god, dude, I don't trust any of this. Is it here? No, not here. It ain't there either. Is it here? It was right there. Ah, oh, it was the corner. Okay. Okay, we got it. See, it was double. I thought so. Dude, look at the spikes. Just don't run. Now that I got that secret, we're gonna get right back to where we were. Well, you have my total attention now. We gotta see Larson get kicked again. 
Hello? I'll heal and hide you to a barn door yet. Of course. He do like Leon's goofy brother. Piece of the ski on. You want to keep it so bad? I'll harness it right up your... Wait. We're talking about the artifact here? Damn straight. Damn straight. We are right, right up here. Your... I'm sorry. This piece, you say? Where's the rest? Miss Natler put Pierre, Pierre DuPont, DuPont on that, on that trail. trail. And where is that? <laughs> Dude, I hate Pierre, man. Fast enough for him. So you think all this talking is just holding me up? The, I, don't I don't know, know where, where his, his little, little jack rabbit frog, frog legs is running, running him to. You have to ask Miss Nat. Oh, K.O. I will. Still miss the secret. But it's all good in the neighborhood. Now, here we go. Dude, I'm kind of glad they didn't even touch the old cutscenes. They just like kept them in. <laughs> I'm kind of glad they did that. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Just like nobody saw her on top of that elevator, just like with the blowtorch. Laura was too smooth. Like you didn't see Indiana Jones doing no stuff like that. To St. Francis's folly, new temptations torment me. Rumor amongst my fellow brothers is that entombed beneath our monastery is the body of Tiogen, one of the three legendary rulers of the lost continent Atlantis, and that with him lies his piece of the Atlantean skill. Now she still look good though. Which curbs tremendous powers. Powers beyond the creator himself. My toes sweat at such possibilities, lying so close to my mortal self. Each night I beat myself rid of these fantasies. But it is indeed a test. Pierre. You little bug. Dude, Pierre is annoying. Dude pops out shooting at you. The moment you start laying fire back into him, he just disappears out of nowhere. Yes, sir! Oh, crap. Did you hear the wind outside? Nope, get up there! Controller, not now. We got mountain lions. Look at them! They actually still resemble kind of what they used to look like. They just look more detailed. You. You ain't safe either. You ain't safe either. Oh, your boy's still alive. Come here. Come here, Simba. Dude, it's amazing how lighting just changes the whole look of everything. Like, you look at this. It's like, dude, this looks so freaking good. Oh, and it's even a hole in the ceiling. Like a skylight. Dude, if anybody's uh, like played uh, Skyrim on PC, don't just like an ENB. <laughs> it just switches the whole look of the game up. All right, so I know pushing this block. One opens the door upstairs. Let me see what this one opens up. Yeah. Okay, that's that room. If I'm not mistaken, there's a gorilla in there. Dude, the sounds of the wind! Like, I might have to enhance the audio a little bit so you guys can hear it. If you, if you can hear it, then... Oh, it's still there in the original. I don't remember hearing it in the original. Whatever. Anyway. Going on in. Going on in. Jump over that. I hit it anyway. Come on, son! 
Why the monkey still look the same though? Why it still look the same? Like look. Tell me it ain't the same monkey. Hey, he boxing me up though. Hold on. I'm over here messing with the messing with the graphics. The hair has way more detail. It's like the same shape and everything. The eyes and stuff are different. What? You up here chilling? Woo! Too smooth. And that lever down there, I believe, was the second lever to open up the door upstairs. Upstairs. There you go! Come here, son! Give Chris Redfield his jacket back! Give Chris his jacket back! You ain't about to kill me, hold on. Let me get a good look at him. Who he look like? You ain't getting away. Oh, he got away. It's like every time, whenever he turns and you lose sight of him, it can be behind the smallest object. It's like a cartoon. He just disappears. Dude is a pain in the neck. Yeah, see that door up there is open. But what we actually want to do, move this back. No, stop. Stop it. Make sure everything is recording. Damn, it's been 15 minutes already. I gotta reset my camera. There we go. One more time. One more time. All right, then we're gonna jump up here. Dude, the sound. Laura. You good? There you go. I was like, what happened the first time, Laura? What happened? And we're gonna go in this room up here. And this room is a secret. But the freaking Man! This junk used to bug me out. Cause you gotta jump correctly. Wait, let me see. Get this first try, baby. First try! Yes, sir. Now. Hit him with a... Uh. Uh. Hey. Secret number one. Straight out the gate. Get my shotgun shells. My med kit. I haven't actually used any of my bullets yet. And my other guns. It's like you have unlimited ammo in your pistols. Why use anything else? Huh. Hey, lost a tad bit of health, but it's alright. It's alright. Alright. Take it easy. I'm about to overjump. I knew it. I called it. Called it. Now we're gonna hop right back up. Bam! Then we're gonna. Dude, look at the texture of the marble. I mean, it still doesn't look bad, but. Man, I can't. See, this is how. When you, when you remaster an old game. This is what it should be like. This and the, uh, I don't think there's anything on top of this roof. No, I don't think there is. Um, this and the Halo 1 and 2, uh, like, anniversary editions. 
this should, that should be how remasters are done. Like, you don't change anything with the core game. The gameplay is exactly the same, sound effects, everything. But you just change the graphical look of it so that the game still feels familiar, it still feels exactly the same, but you go from this, which again, still does not look bad. I still like the way it looks. But then you go to this. Like, that's amazing. Like, can we get, like, a remake of, like, Soul Reaver? And then this is another spot where a crystal would have been. But I'm actually going to save it here. Because there is a secret to, a secret right here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it. But when you slide down, you have to, as you, you can probably see it from here. There's a room across the way. You can't jump to normally. You have to slide down and like right before you get to the bottom, you have to jump and hit the ceiling and fall down because there's like a little extra slidey like a sliding piece right as you're falling down. You have to hit the ceiling, then bounce off of that and go in there. The timing is nuts. I'm gonna see if I can get it, but again, if I don't get it, I saved it. So. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. St. Francis Folly. Alright. Here we go. I did it first try, baby! I saw that alligator. Kind of look like a turd. <laughs> First try, baby. Let's go. Drop down. Now, if you would have fell down into the water, this is where you would have came up. And you would have been able to look up like, how do I get up there? And you just saw. Now, we got the freaking... Hold on! Got the old crocodilly? New crocodilly. He's like brown! Or was that just his underbelly? Cause they actually done like did like a separate texture for his underbelly. That's pretty cool. I know it's hard to see because it's dark, but. Keep on moving straight on along. And this should bring us out right here. Dude, this freaking room. Look at that. Why does it look scarier in the old graphics? Well, I guess further down. It's a skylight in here too. Let me reset my sound. We got doors that go all the way down, but the switches for these doors are on various levels. And this right here is another secret. And it almost and you will almost die trying to get it. Um but I got to remember which side it's on. I, you'll see in a minute. But it's like a little pressure plate right there. And the moment you hit it, you got to be moving. You got to drop down on the side. It's a long fall, but you got to hang off, drop down. Drop all the way to the bottom, and you have to run straight to the door. I think I remember which side it was on. But, uh... So let me go ahead and pull this, first and foremost. Okay, that opens up Thor. Which, the first time I've seen this game, it was like over one of my dad's friend's house. And when we first saw it, that Thor room, 
he was in that Thor room. So that, that room was like one of the very first scenes I've ever seen in this game. But I'm gonna save it real quick, just in case I mess this up. Just in case I mess this up. Make sure my health is full. It is not. I would have died. All right, let's try it. Jump on that. Jump down. I remember that fall being a lot further. Oh my god! That almost killed me though. There it is. In there. Cause that door does close. It just closed. Man, these bats be phasing through stuff. <laughs> Going back out. And we want to get in this door here. But as you can see, you got four different styles of keys that you get from each of the rooms upstairs. But since we're down here, go ahead and hit that. That opens up Atlas. Actually, I'm going to turn around. Yep. Not far enough. I could probably just go the other way, but I'm stubborn. Leave me alone. Freaking bat. Go away. Squeaking like a freaking mouse. I don't remember if there was a lever. Yeah, it is. It opens up Neptune. You got Damascus right here. Not, Dam not Damascus, Democles. Where did I get Damascus from? If I'm not mistaken, there's something on top. Yep. Get back that health kit I used getting down there. Thank you. I remember in the second Tomb Raider, every time she picked up something, she started going, Aha! Alright, alright. Let's go in our first room, which is Thor! Dude, it's so blue! This room used to freak me out when I used to first play this game. Cause I was like, how am I meant to get through this? If you stand on this step right here, you're good. As long as you stay on this step. You don't want to run near any of these plates. Dude, look at the lightning. <laughs> what you want to do is go to the very corner. If you're in the corner, it can't touch you. And right after it, right after it shocks, you want to run and jump over that plate. Like that. Sometimes it still gets you, but it won't. It's not enough to kill you. It just takes a few, a, a little bit of life out. Now here, all right, not again. All right. Now here, as you can see, I, I think it's supposed to be Mjolnir, but it's just like a giant hammer. <laughs> When you stand on this pressure plate, you'll start hearing the noise. You have to stand on it until you hear a thing, until you hear a noise go, boom. Once you hear it go, you hear that noise, jump out the way as fast as possible. See? If that hammer would have hit me in midair, dude, and it knocks the block down. But you're gonna go ahead and push. It's like a blacksmith hammer. That's the struggle version of Mjolnir. Okay, we're still good. Reset that. Push it one more time. Push it real good. Up here. I 
I think I might have to pull it a little bit. Nope, I don't. I'm good. Go get, give it another push. I actually might be able to get a run and jump from here. Excuse me. Yep, we good. Grab that. Dude, how many med kits do I have? 12 and 6. I'm sitting good. And I remember this jump used to freak me out too, because it was like... The old game... I guess because it's so dark down there, it looks like it's so far down. I'm pretty sure you'll die if you miss this jump. But that jump seems so far. But you can totally make it. Just, eh. Dude, when Laura falls to her death, the sound. <laughs> it's the sound, man. Like, it sounds like she broke all her bones. And we're gonna like skip jump into that platform. We're just gonna jump straight down here. Actually, I'm kind of scared. When in doubt, save it. Wee! All right, we're good. Life bar popped up, but I didn't really use any health. Now we gotta get past this, back past this little stupid Tesla ball thing. All right, we good. You are really Loki. I guess. All right, from here, we're gonna work our way back up. Make sure I'm not forgetting any switches. Cause uh, we still gotta open up Democles. Still got some bats chilling out. Never mind. Sit it on down. Sit it on down. Oh, the oh the other switch is right here. What? It's freaking bats, man. Why don't you start messing with me as I'm trying to press the switch? Move yet. Oh, come! Can't even call him Kong. Can't even call him Kong. He too little. Call him King Wrong. Now in this... Again, I'm gonna save it just in case I mess this up. Because I know what to do. Just in case something goes wrong. Y'all saw that boulder up there, right? We gotta bust one of these. Hit one of these moves. Yeah! Woo! Grab that health. This, this wind kind of sounds like the ocean a little bit. Are you standing on a beach or something? Come up here. Dude, the freaking switching to the old graphics is like about to become my flashlight. Like it's kind of dark, so I'm just, ah! Let there be light! Once you got that, and that's two out of four keys. We still have Neptune at the top that's open, and Democles towards the bottom that's open. But we're going to save Democles for last. Even though it's right there. Speaking of right there, there's a health kit right there. I don't need it, but I'm going to go on ahead and grab it. Go on and grab it. Landed right on it, too. 
But we're going to save Democles for last because we have to come back down anyway. Come up here. Bat, please. Jump over. I remember when I was little, playing this part. One of these bats actually pushed me off the edge of one of these steps. And when you fall, when you just watch your character fall to their death and you know you didn't save it. Oh, let me change my battery right quick. All right, and we're back. I even turned the light on. You can't. I don't know if you can tell or not. Does it look a little bit brighter? I don't know. Back in it, dude. I would almost forgot I was standing right on the edge. If I would have stepped off, God. Even Pierre has a life bar, even though you can't kill him. Not yet, anyways. He's gonna have to chill. He's all the way down at the bottom. The very bottom. We'll deal with him later. Just making sure ain't no items I'm forgetting. Nope, go back. Go up. Ah. Pull that. Like a giant sword. Grab you. That's three out of four keys. Swim back out. Breath running down kind of quick. Kind of quick. Dude, I love how they added these skylights that actually are an actual light source. Cause I'm pretty sure this one wasn't here in the original either. Nope. It's just a lit ceiling. Crazy. I'm going the wrong way. Alright, that's three out of four. Now we have to go back down. He's gonna shoot at me. Go back down and never give in now. That's the way that it is. Alright. Go back down, get that last key from Democles, which is damn. What side was it on? Over here. Ah, there she is. Don't shoot. Like, don't even be a douche. As a matter of fact, come here. I don't care if there's mountain lions down there chilling with you. Why they're not tearing you apart? I have no idea. Come on. You and your Lion King buddies can get it. Come on. Come on. Oh, I saw you. I saw you. Oh, now his life bar turned silver. You see that? Because they know you can't kill him. I don't even know why they brought it up. Who want to step out? Now it's red again. Oh, I'm tracking you now. Come on. There you go. Now, if you're like holding X and you're tracking him, you'll know he disappeared whenever she just starts firing straight. But I guess we could tell now and we have a life bar down the bottom. But back in the uh, other version, I wonder if you could take the life bar out. He really gonna chill over there. Now you know what? I'll deal with you when I come out of here. I will deal with you. Dude, I remember this room. Almost forgot about this. When you come in this room, you're safe at first. Like coming in here, you ain't got nothing to worry about. 
If you somehow figure out a way to die when you first come in this room, God dang it, then I don't know what to tell you. You need an achievement for that. But it's when you come in here and you grab this final key. Dude, look how the keys look in the old game. Like, watch the picture when it pops up. Okay, that's actually not that bad. There's like some keys that are huge. Jump up here and grab this. And once you, once you, after you grab that key, when you come back out here, you're gonna notice. God dang it! <sighs> I was about to say, man, you're gonna notice that the swords are spinning. Do not try to sprint through this room. Take it slow. Real slow. I believe when you step on this, if you step on this platform right in front of me, right in the middle, a sword will drop and fall right in between, right in the middle of these two pillars. Uh, what? Okay, this one actually came out of the pillar. The other one went in though. Come on, step off. Uh. And when you run up to that broken that column on the ground, these two should fall. Yep. And there's a few left. And it's messed up because they make it so that you can't like cut this corner, like right here. It's like an invisible wall that keeps like trying to push you around. They trying to move you into into these freaking swords. Knock this one down. Woo! Alright, we good. Alright, Pierre. Where you at? One down. Let's go! You wanna fight? Let's go! Matter of fact. Matter of fact. Oh yeah, it's on. It's on. Come on. Where you at? Did he disappear already? So why does he have a life bar then? I thought maybe he disappears when you get his life bar down. I guess not. I thought she was about to hit me with the no. Open that. Next. And with that. Mm. Now I don't know why it sounded like a boulder a boulder was rolling just then. That always tripped me out. But once you go through this door. Home free, baby. Of course, we missed a secret. Yeah, it is what it is. Like I said before, we're probably not going to find all of them. Because some of them, I'm just not going to remember where they are. But that is St. Francis Folly Dunson. Where are we at? Uh, hmm. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do... I think I'm gonna just I'm gonna leave this one as just one stage. That way I can like edit it down. I can edit it and stuff like that. Do what I have to do to it, and I can get another episode to you guys like quick. You know what I mean? Cause I bet I'm tr I want to try. If not, be able to make this daily. Didn't make it like every other day or something like that. Or you might get some episodes that are like come out a day after the uh, the previous one. You might get something to come out two days. I don't know. 
I just want to keep like I just want to keep being able to keep these going for you guys. But uh, for, yeah, for right now, I'm gonna stop it right here. Once again, I appreciate all the support on the first video. I have never gotten that many comments on a video in my life. Like, again, it might not seem like a lot compared to other content creators, but it's a lot to me, and it means a lot to me. Especially like seeing like some people talk about their stories with like 90s games and stuff like that it's really freaking cool i like to just like be able to build like a positive community doesn't matter what platform you play on i don't care if you play on playstation i don't care if you play on xbox switch freaking pc or the ouya <laughs> who remembers the ouya that thing did that thing was not it I don't care what you play on. A gamer is a gamer. Have fun playing your games. Leave everybody else alone for doing the same. That rhymes, son! Anyway, see you guys in the next episode.